Hey guys, it's me, UB Programmer, and today I'll be discussing about a machine learning project, which is a March sales prediction, right? So uh, let's just see how our app looks like. Here I am starting my Flask app, and it will give me a server. Here we have our server. Let's follow the link. And this is the simple UI of the app, and as the project description says, Enter the required information, obviously about a, a product, and this intelligent web application will try to predict sales of concert item, right, of the product. So uh, let's just uh, put some uh, values. I'm just uh, entering some random values. Okay, and these are just uh, features of my training data, right? So, yeah, let's choose some values. And when we hit the submit button, this data was, uh, will be fielded into our model and machine learning model, and our result will be generated, right? So, this will be a variable which will be changing according to prediction of our model, right? Okay, so yeah. Uh, let's just uh, see the code and try to understand how we can create this right and if you want to like uh, get this all source code you can always contact me through this whatsapp number or uh, maybe mail me at this gmail and i will reply you as soon as possible right and uh, okay so let's see the notebook first and yeah guys we can uh, actually arrange uh, some zoom explainer session uh, for all the code and uh, for uh, any project you like right okay so importing libraries uh, loading the data set you can see the data set some first rows and you can see the uh, these are the same uh, parameters which we are getting through user right from our app and some info about data set and you can see we got uh, uh, null values uh, missing values so we have to handle that we will just use the uh, mean uh, computer for this uh, uh missing values issue right and then we are just uh, handling the missing values and you can see we got no missing value this time right then some uh, eda on our data set which is like obvious if you wanna build a perfect model and then you can see i am removing some columns because these columns will not be like uh, helpful in our uh, model building right uh, these columns don't play any like significant role in the uh, sales of the item right so we will just uh, ignore or remove these columns and this is the data set which we will be training our model on right and then I am just uh, printing the uh, unique values. I'll be telling you why I did that. And then uh, with the uh, categorical uh, features, I just uh, apply the label encoder, right? From the SQLearn, obviously. And then we got uh, converted uh, our categorical features into numerical. Uh, form right numerical form okay so here i am like uh, again uh, displaying the unique values and yeah so uh, then we are just uh, making the input and output variable and on the model training we just trained a separate and then uh, we applied uh, XGBoost regressor model and you can see the accuracy was 
0.84 which is 4 percent not bad but we applied random forest regressor and this gave us the accuracy about 93.6 percent right so we just uh, make a pickle of that model random regressor as a sales predictor.pkl which is this file you can see right so let's talk about uh, deployment and why i am like uh, displaying these unique values again and again right so you can see uh, i am getting these uh, features uh, these variables from the form which i have in my index in my home page right and these values like low fat has a value of zero so let's understand this concept right so uh, let's just check so this is the uh, fat content right and you can see this fat content has this fat content has the value of low fat is equal to zero and regular is equal to one right so you can see if we count the values it is giving a five five one seven belongs to zero and three zero zero six belongs to one and when we go before that uh, label encoder we can clearly see that 5517 was low fat and 3006 was regular right so i applied this concept into my deployment part and item fat content in this variable in this features i got low fat is equal to zero and regular is equal to one so whenever a user will select let me just go to okay uh, whenever a user will select low fat and i'm selecting low fat what value will be like i'm giving to my model will be zero and how i am doing this i am just declaring it here right and then this value will be saved zero will be saved into this variable right and so on with the, all the other uh, these three uh, categorical features right and yeah so this was the app guys i hope uh, you like this project and if you want me to arrange a zoom explainer session uh, for a private session you can always contact me through these numbers and i'll be ready to help thanks